morning, baby. Good morning. What's for breakfast? Well, since I upset your stomach last night, I decided to give you something that I know works. Leftovers. Pizza, mugu guy pan, and bacon. Well, that sounds terrific. All cooked up in an omelet. That sounds horrible. <laughs> How many more days is your mother going to be out of town? Another week. A week? That's seven times three meals a day. That's 21 more toxic meals. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be. Dad, I'm in trouble. Yeah, and if I eat this omelet, we're all going to be in trouble. <laughs> no, I'm talking about my science class. They expect me to write a paper on cold fusion. When am I ever going to need to know about cold fusion? I mean, look at me. I'm pretty. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> pretty girls like me don't need to know about cold fusion. <laughs> yeah, let the buck tooth ugly girls learn about cold fusion. I mean, they're the ones that's not going to be affected by the radiation. Right. You understand exactly. Claire, being pretty is not an excuse. What if you get into a car accident and you mess up that pretty face? Well, then I'll just comb my pretty hair over my scars, scabs, and keloids. <laughs> you got it all figured out, don't you? Mm-hmm. Look, Claire, they give you these science projects to teach you how to think. You have to read. You have to work. You have to investigate. You got to use that mental muscle. Ow! You see? You still got a soft spot. You're supposed to fill that up with knowledge. Being stupid never hurt anybody. Hey, Mike. <laughs> well, then, what do I owe the displeasure? Whoa, is that a pizza mugu gal pan bacon on my ass man? As a matter of fact, it is. You got a nose like a bloodhound. Man, these are hard to find. You might have a half a piece. You can have the whole thing. You know what? I'll go get you something to eat it with. Oh, no need. I, I got my own utensils. A lucky knife fork. <laughs> You'd be amazed at how much food people give me when they see me coming with these babies. <laughs> but they give you money, too. Oh, sometimes, but, you know, I don't eat that. Quarters are hard to chew. <laughs> Okay, I, I remember that. So, Calvin, wh why are you here? Well, Mike, I need a job. Well, I thought you were on disability. Oh, not anymore. The disability man found out my back got better. Now, how did he find that out? I picked him up and threw him over a fence when he accused me of faith. Gee, Calvin, I, I wish I could help you out, but right now, we just don't have... Oh, it's got to be something, Mike. Honestly, we're all staff... Oh, think deep, Mike, think. <laughs> I mean, I, really, I wouldn't want to... You're not thinking, Mike. I'm, you know what? Something just opened up on the loading dock. Man, the loading dock. So what would I be doing? Loading? Mm. You know I got a bad back. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, 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 you know, that's right. <laughs> I've been saying this so long, I almost believe it. <laughs> well, you know, Mike, I was thinking more of a managerial position. Is that what you was thinking? Yeah. Management. Vice President, how does that sound? Hmm! Vice President? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. VP of the LD. I don't know what to sound that right. All right. Oh, when do I start? Nine o'clock sharp, tomorrow morning. Oh, nine o'clock? Oh, that's not going to work for me. Why not? Oh, I'm not a morning person. Morning makes me even. Angry and aggressive. <laughs> Triggers that sore fuse to my belly temper. Did I say 9 o'clock? No, Vice President started at 11.30. Oh, that's still early. <laughs> well, then, Calvin, what time do you want to come in? Well, let's see. Uh, I got to have breakfast. Work out. Have breakfast number two. <laughs> work out. Then I got to have a number two to get rid of breakfast number one. And then it's nap time. Because you know those number twos take a lot out of you. <laughs> so how's about 4.45? Calvin, we punch out at the last punch. I'll see you tomorrow. If you don't mind, I'd I like to eat alone. <laughs> Put it in my own house. Yeah. You want to sit? I respect it. Can, you mind? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Gave Calvin a job. Why? Oh, Lord, why? Why? Lord, why? Because he was desperate and the man was eating an omelet with a machete. What was I supposed to do? Anything but hire him. He hates me. Why would he hate you? All you did was get his teenage daughter pregnant and rob her of her innocence and promising future. Yeah, exactly. And I don't think it's smart for me to be around him. You're right, son. You're fired. Thank you. Problem solved. Hey, hey, hey. 
If I get fired, then I don't get paid. And if I don't get paid, I can't support Vanessa and the baby, and Calvin would just kill me anyway. I might as well just stay here and die. At least I'll get paid. Look, he's only doing a 15-minute workday. What kind of trouble can he get in on the loading dock? Boss, there's trouble on the loading dock. <laughs> I don't see it in front of me. Look like he's working hard to me. You can't find Larry. Well, where is he? Calvin, have you seen Larry? You talking about the little fella who kept telling me to slow down? Yeah. I ain't seen him since I loaded the first refrigerator. Help me, Mr. Kyle. Get me out of here. I can't breathe. You didn't use the lucky knife and fork, did you? Fever is crushed. Larry, where are you? Under the first refrigerator. Help me. Mine hurts. Calvin, you gotta get the man out of there. Okay, calm down. Well, it's quitting time. <laughs> I'll give him first aid tomorrow. 445. I can't feel my body. Calvin, don't punch. You gotta get the man from underneath the boxes. Well, are you off me all the time my first day? No, I'm asking you to save somebody's life. Well, I wonder what kind of value he places on his life. I'll give you a hundred dollars. Ooh, a hundred dollars. You must have low self-esteem. <laughs> Two hundred, but that's all I've got. Calvin, I'll give you three hundred. Huh? Three hundred. Just get him out of there. Here. Okay, well, let me count him first. It's three hundred. Let's see. see. Let's make some more. One hundred. Calvin, please! Just hurry! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just was. You can help me with. What is it? Well, I have to write a paper for my science class. Well, I hope you're not looking for help from the shards into public this rag. They plagiarized huge sections of my thesis on solar flares. Solar flares. Now that's the kind of thing I need. You know a lot about this stuff, huh? Have you actually ever looked at your science book? Not really. <laughs> Dr. Franklin Aloysius Mumford received his Ph.D. in particle physics from Harvard University. Hey, that's you! <laughs> that's right. You're a genius. <laughs> Can you please help me? Indeed. But only if it's something innovative and fresh. It's my penultimate challenge. Yes, penultimate. And what does penultimate mean? It's your word, don't you know? I'm just trying to gauge how high this hill is. What hill? The one between you and knowledge. <laughs> Look, all I know is I have to write a paper for science about cold fusion, and I have no idea what that is. But can you please help me, Professor Mumford, for your future sister-in-law? Certainly. Let's get to work. This sure is a flattering picture, don't you think? <laughs> So what are we going to do about Calvin? I'm thinking about cutting his work day in half. I mean, what can you do in seven and a half minutes? Well, I got Vanessa pregnant. That accounts for the half minute. What did you do with the other seven? Recuperate. <laughs> you know, the good news is he's not going to get in trouble where I put him. Bad news, he got in trouble where you put him. Put me down. Put, put me down. Look, Kazam. Put me down. Calvin. Put Mr. Wedgie down. I would like to, Mr. Cow, but I don't know where. I don't see the sign. Some idiot put him a pickup sign and failed to put him a put down sign. Good thing he didn't see the loading and rear sign. Put you down, Mr. Cow. Hold on. Here, the Calvin, the Calvin. But that's where I picked him up. Okay, here. Put him down right here. Okay, see? here you go, little fella. There you go. Okay, thank you for your patronage. <laughs> You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> You're welcome. Oops. That's quitting time for me. 
Ooh, another dead, another dollar. This job was almost easy as disability. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Dale, what are we going to do? I don't know. But you've just been promoted to head of personnel. Oh, that's great. What do I do? You get to hire people. Oh, that's terrific. And you get to fire people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. now that's power. <laughs> now go fire count. Okay, but I have to fire somebody else first. Who? The new head of personnel. <laughs> it's getting smarter. <laughs> It's about being courageous, son. You just gotta be courageous. No, you don't. Yeah. No. Look, okay, let's just change the subject. Are you sure you don't want to take the job as head of personnel? I mean, the offer's still on the table. I'm not firing Calvin, Dad. Fine, I'll do it myself. You punk. All right, hold the windows. Lock the doors. Lock. Lock. Unwrap the bacon sandwich. Right. That's gonna attract them. Here we go. Here we go. I didn't hear you. What did you say? I said, you're, 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 you're tired, and, and, and you need a bacon uh, break. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're the greatest, boss. A bacon break and quitting time. All in one. This is a good job. <laughs> oh, 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 by the way, tomorrow I'm going to talk to you about a raise. Huh? I can't hear. I'm sorry. I, I said I'm going to talk to you about a raise. I, I can't. Okay. Go down the window. Go down the window. I said tomorrow I want to talk to you about a race. Don't forget to me. In fact, it's a disaster. Why? Because, my love, her teachers want to question her about cold fusion, and she will have none of the answers. Oh, my God. How are we going to handle this? We? No way. I refuse to be a part of this. Come on, Franklin. No. Katie, talk to him. I get all your lipsticks. Deal. Franklin Owl wishes Mumford help her. Of course, dear. <laughs> okay. Here's what we do. Tell you, I'm gonna fire that man tomorrow. I hope so. I can't stand living in fear like this. I was up all night getting every trace of bacon out of this house. <laughs> What's that noise? Don't you play with me like that. Did she hear? No, no, listen. Maybe his feet. Electrochemically charged palladium cells rest on reports of excessive heat, or more precisely, excess power. Or more precisely, excess power. Next question. Next question. What are you doing? Jumping Jehoshaphat. Jumping Jehoshaphat. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Kyle. What an unexpected pleasure. Yeah, little Jehoshaphat. Who's on that walkie-talkie? What walkie-talkie? The one in your hand. Oh, where'd this come from? I don't know, but let me see. So what you're asking is, are the power levels in cells being accurately measured, and are they, in fact, satisfying the chemical assumptions made? Good question. Let me think about that answer. Sir, let me think about that answer. <laughs> What's going on? Well, apparently, he's answering questions for Claire, who's at school. Wow. 
Imagine if Franklin would have answered questions for me when I was in school. Then I wouldn't have graduated at the bottom of my class. That's right. You would have graduated at the top of the bottom of your class. Up for number 30, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, no, man, no. That's me! <laughs> Kitty asked me to do it, and I can't say no to her. She's bewitching. Her smile ignites my soul and makes me think of angels. Oh, shut up. Okay, I'm gonna deal with this girl right now. And the answer to the question is... Okay, the answer to that question is... Anga wanga binga. The answer to the question, are the power levels themselves being accurately measured, and if in fact they're being satisfied by the chemical assumptions being made, is... When pigs fly out of my butt. <laughs> when pigs fly out of my butt. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> How'd that go over? Oh, this is great. <laughs> the answer to that question is, I have on headphones and I'm cheating right now. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I'm just parroting every word I'm saying. <laughs> Man, I'm dumb. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh, okay. My dad said to tell you that I'm a big, cheating phony who deserves an F. Thank you and good night. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is fabulous. <laughs> Welcome to Cowboys Mmm Bacon Rotisserie, where we smell bacon, mmm bacon. Hey, 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 what are you selling here? Oh, I got every kind of bacon you can think of, Mike. Bacon strips, bacon cakes, bacon pot pie, bacon beans, Canadian bacon, Mexican bacon, bacon brownie, shishka bacon, and steakin'. That's the steak wrapped in the bacon. Would you like to try one? Uh, no thanks, I don't eat pork. Well, that's why we have an alternative. Veggie aching. Tastes like bacon. Mm-mm-mm, -mm -mm, but it's not. <laughs> Hey, this actually does taste like bacon. It really is. I just hear it isn't. <laughs> okay, folks. Calvin's bacon rotisserie. That's mmm bacon rotisserie. <laughs> Calvin's mmm bacon rotisserie is officially closed. Please go back to mmm work. <laughs> What's the problem, boss? Calvin, you cannot run a business out of my business. Sure I can. I got my bacon handling certificate. Plus, I'm only working 15 minutes a day here. I got plenty of time to sell it's the bacon. It's not about the time. It's about principle. I'm not selling principle. I'm selling bacon. Look, if you say bacon one more time, I'm going to... You're going to what? I'm going to have another piece of this veggie egg. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like bacon. <laughs> Look, Calvin, this is the last straw. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say this, but you're fired. I'm, I'm fired? You mean, like, go home, pack it up, get it on, kick rocks? Yes. <laughs> Are you crying? No, 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 that's just some bacon in my eyes. No, those are tears, you're crying. All right, you're right, it's tears. That's the story of my life. <laughs> I don't blame you for firing me. I'm just no good. <laughs> Calvin, don't say that, okay? You, you are. You're a good guy. <laughs> Look, Calvin, it's not that you're no good. It's just... <laughs> Look, Calvin. All right. Now I know why the veggie acre was so salty. <laughs> Look, Calvin, if you really want to stay here and work with me and learn from me, I'm willing to let you keep your job. Really? Mike, you do that for me? Yes. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I'm really happy that we're going to still be working together. Well... Me too. So, if there's anything I can do for you right now, you just name it. You know what? As a matter of fact, why don't you move that truck for me, all right? I'm going to go get you the key. Can't seem to find the key. Hold on, let me get the point. Are you sure you don't want to do
take the job as head of personnel? I mean, the offer's still on the table. I'm not firing Calvin, Dad. Fine, I'll do it myself. Whatever. All right, unwrap the bacon. That's gonna attract them. <laughs> See him anywhere? No. Okay. Roll up your windows okay. before you do the bacon. Okay. <laughs> Doors are locked. Okay. Door locked? Yeah. All right. Okay, so this is the stuff that we're never gonna make this show. Of course not. And we're just doing this. Right now. I've been in editing before. <laughs>